Now to make your life easier while you're typing text in a circle in Photoshop, the first thing I'd recommend doing is creating a set of guides by going up here to view and then down here to guides and new guide layout. Clicking here will enable the columns and rows. Make sure that two is typed in for both of these numbers and we'll click okay. Now we need to go and create the circle for our text to follow along. And the way we'll do that is by using the ellipse shape tool. We can access that within our shape tools, clicking and holding on that icon and finding the ellipse tool here. We'll then go up to our fill and stroke options and make sure that these are set to transparency, represented by that white box with the red line through it. Now with our shape tool active and our settings good to go, hover your cursor right at the intersection of our guides on the canvas. We can now click and drag out while holding the shift key to create a perfect circle. And this will center our circle in the middle of our canvas, as well as create a perfect circle with the ellipse shape tool. Once you're happy with the size of your shape, just let go. Now to place our text, we need to access the type tool by pressing T and then we can go and hover our cursor just over the edge of our shape's path until you see the little squiggly line going through your cursor. Once you see that, just click on your canvas to add a new piece of text. Now you can go and type whatever you want. You can adjust the size, font, or color of your text just as you would with a regular text layer, but the formatting is gonna be a little bit different as you'll see next. To position your text, let's say in this example, I wanna have it perfectly centered at the top of this circle. We need to access the path selection tool to do that. Going to the path selection tool within the toolbar with our type layer selected, we can go and hover just before the beginning of our text and then click and drag out like so. This will separate the starting and end point of our text. The little X that you see here represents the starting point of the text and the circle represents the end point of our text that we can click and drag around wherever we want to define the visible area or the start and end of our text along that circle. In this case, I'm positioning the starting point of our text along the horizontal line on the left side and then I'm positioning the end point of our text on the same horizontal line on the right side of the canvas. Now this defines the start and end point so we can just center our text accordingly and make our life easy. With our type layer selected inside of the properties panel, we can scroll down to the paragraph settings and click on the center text option. This will now perfectly center the text on top of that path. But what if you wanted to go and add some additional text down at the bottom of this path instead? Well, we can repeat the process, but then just adjust one final setting. Once again, I'm going to click on my ellipse layer, grab my type tool by pressing T, and then hover over the path and click to add my text. Now go and type out whatever you would like. With the path selection tool selected once again, that new type layer active, this time I'm just going to click in the middle of my text and click and drag over to position it where I would like. Since it's on the outside and I want it to be flipped the other way, I'll click and drag inside of my path like so and position it according to those guides. Now, since I want this text to fit on the outside edge of this path, we can go and adjust the baseline shift within the character panel. With that layer selected, I'll go to my character panel, which if you don't see it, just go up to window and then down here to character to reveal it. And we'll go to the baseline shift option and then hover over that icon and then click and drag to adjust the baseline shift. This will just bump that text out like so. And to confirm how close you are to your original path, just click on your ellipse layer to see it like so. In this case, I'm happy with how this looks. The bottom text aligns with our path the same as my top text does. And now we have finished typing our top and bottom text as well as doing a bit of easy formatting to position everything properly. Now if any of the steps we covered here feel hard to remember be sure to grab my free lesson cheat sheet for this tutorial down below this video to make everything way easier. But now that you have these basic steps down to learn more about adding text onto paths and additional formatting tricks be sure to click this video here as it's a great way to expand on what you learned in this tutorial. I hope to see you there next.